This is a short documentary about tattoos and piercings in the workplace. We want to delve into the different opinions on body art and why it's penalised in some workplaces. By the end of it, you should know when and where they originated from and all the different views about them. And by the end, you can make your own decision on whether or not body art should be accepted in workplaces. This is More, More Than Meets the Eye. Eye. Tattoos have been found to be present in history throughout the world. They have been shown to be a representation of an assortment of things such as social rank, religious beliefs and protection. The oldest example of tattooing found to date is over 5,300 years old. They were found on a body discovered face down in the Italian Alps in 1991. The body, famously known as Osa the Iceman, was found with 57 tattoos located on several joints in his body, including his ankles, knees and elbows. It is thought these tattoos were made by rubbing powdered charcoal into cuts in the skin. X-rays have revealed bone degeneration at the site of each tattoo, leading researchers to believe that Oates' people may have used tattoos as medical treatment to reduce pain. However, researchers also believe they could have been used for decoration or evidence of acupuncture designed with the intent of fending off evil spirits. One of the most well-known ancient cultures for tattoos are the Egyptians. It was mostly women who would receive them as an amulet to protect them during childbirth. This is known because of the placement of tattoos on their upper thigh, the abdomen and on the breast. Elderly women were the ones to give tattoos. They would use soot on the end of a sharp point set in wood. Tattoos were also a symbol of status, love, religious beliefs and even punishment. In Japan, tattoos had originally been used on clay figures which represented a deceased individual. These were either embossed or painted onto the faces of the figures and were believed to have had religious or mystical connotation. Tattoos have been practiced in Japan for beautification, magic and to mock criminals since the 5th century BC. Lower classes rebelled by wearing tattooed bodysuits, covering their torsos with illustrations that began at the neck and extended to the elbow and above the knee, and they were hidden under their clothing. During the Crusades of the 11th and 12th centuries, warriors identified themselves with the mark of the Jerusalem cross so they could be given a proper Christian burial if they died in battle. Stigma and stereotypes are current today and existed in the past. People who were associated with the stigma were known as sailors, criminals and people in the circus. Piercings are not as well documented as tattooing. Nose piercings were recorded in the Middle East around 4,000 years ago and tongue piercings were originally practiced by ancient civilizations as a ritual to come closer to their gods. The first ear piercings were believed to have magical powers. They were thought to repel demons from entering the ears because of the metal inserted through the piercing. Tattoos and piercings have been practiced for thousands of years, whether it be for religious beliefs or just decoration. Today, tattoos are more complex, and you can get anything from portraits to animals and right into patterns. They're becoming more and more popular, with one in five people in the UK having at least one tattoo. I'm Nicola Malik, I'm the principal here at, at Stratford-upon-Avon College. Um, I don't have any body art but I really like it. I think it's very creative and it's a part of people expressing their individuality. Part of it, yes, not every role, um, but generally a mix across the board. I like to get involved in, in as many interviews as possible. Um, and, you know, we've got a, a very vari a wide variety of staff employed at the college. Yes, I think, I think it's about individuality, I think it's about expression, and I think as long as it doesn't cover in any way any health and safety issue, uh, then obviously a bit like if you're going in, in catering, obviously you can't have any piercings that are open that are going to cause contamination, but again, as long as it's covered through health and safety, then it's absolutely fine. I think there's a there's a mixed view. I think the public perception is very different on tattoos. I think you know some people favour them, some people think that it's very positive, others are quite old fashioned in their approach and do think that actually you shouldn't. Um, and I don't I do think there's not any 
I don't know if there is any actual evidence to say that a business wouldn't be as successful. Look at Apple for example, a lot of their staff are quite heavily tattooed, or piercings, very funky hair like yourself. Mm. You know, individual, even though they wear a uniform, it's quite an individualised uniform I think with what they do, the shoes that they yeah. wear, the jeans, it gives that individuality and Apple are a multi-billion pound company that go from strength to strength. I think they should. I think I think it's about the the appropriateness as in the area, like I said, with catering, whether it was in a workshop with construction, you've got to think about the types of tattoos and the type of activity that's going on so that the individual wouldn't harm themselves. You know, if you've got a, a significant piercing that might be across the back of the neck or something and you're doing a particular type of work that actually could hinder that individual or cause them any um, harm, then you've got to be you've got to be mindful of that. Okay, what's your name and what do you do? My name's Seb and I'm a tattoo artist. And what's your favourite style of tattooing? Um, my favourite style of tattooing is comic books from a lot of comics. Um, obviously if you ever came into the studio you could quite clearly see there's a lot of comic book and comic book paraphernalia around. So yeah, comic book stuff. That's definitely my, my biggest love. Yeah. So how long have you been a tattoo artist for? Um, it's about three and a half, four years now. I never ever cover up any of my tattoos. Um, for me, tattoos represent parts of my life. And yeah. even if I necessarily wouldn't get a tattoo now, I wouldn't cover it because that's what I was like at that time and that represents something to me. Cool. So have you ever been discriminated for your tattoos at all? Um, I would say no, but I'm fortunate in the, the job that I do where yeah. there's there's not much chance. But I have had people look at me and it tends to be the older generation, you walking down the street and the, the older generation will look and sometimes pass judgement, but it doesn't bother me to be honest. It's it's not something that really affects me at all. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So do you know any of your customers that have been penalised for having body art at all? Um, piercings and stuff like that. I do know people who've worked at a local supermarket, I don't know if I'm allowed to say names, um, but they had to take piercings out because it was against their, um, their dress code policy. Do you think body art should be accepted in all working places? Though? Yeah, I, 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 I still think you've got to have a degree of subtlety in some places because obviously if you're having tattoos all over your face and you're a doctor, I don't think necessarily that would be appropriate. But once again, a doctor having a tattoo on their arm and stuff like that, I don't think that's inappropriate. But I think to moderation, yeah, it should be. Depends what the job is. If it's customer facing, then it can be a bit in your face if there's too much in there or sort of, you know, too, too blatant. But I see as long as it's um, you know, small and there for personal interest, then there's not a problem with it. Well, I think you should definitely be allowed to, to have them. I don't see why um, it makes any difference at all to, to why you should get a job or not, why you should get marked down for any reason. Yeah, and you've got your own stuff? Yes, yeah, I have. I've got piercings here. I have uh, some tattoos on my back, uh, back here. Yeah, I don't, I don't see why that should be a problem, really. Um, I think it's up to every individual, really. I don't think they should be penalised for it. I, I quite like them actually. I wish I'd just had the nerve to have it done when I was younger. Oh, it's a little complicated. I think that people should be able to express themselves. Um, and I don't think, I think there's a lot more things in the world to worry about than tattoos and ear piercings. However, if someone owns a business, um, they have rights to, and should they be allowed to uh, say no? Perhaps but I wouldn't mind.
<laughs> well, here you go. This is a little older view on this one. <laughs> but uh, if, if they work in some kind of novelty store or something like that, I think that's fine. But if they work in a professional atmosphere, uh, I, I don't think it's appropriate, probably.